Nashville woman vanished under suspicious circumstances. Now police and family members are turning their help or turning to the public for help to find Meta Valentine. WNCN's Nate Rogers joins us live in Fayetteville with more. Nate. Where is Meta Valentine, a mother of three, church member, church, um, church choir director, and loved one to so many? It's the question many are asking. Family members growing very frustrated because there have been very few leads in this case, and police saying the, a key suspect has now left the area. I have no feelings that she's gone. Uh, she may be hurt. Meta Valentine was reported missing after not showing up for Wednesday night Bible study. Loved ones say the 44-year-old spent most of her time at church. Her pastor says she became very fearful before vanishing. She would go home a different way when she normally go home. I wanted the member would take her home. She would say, go this way today. And, and the next time she would say, go that way. Surveillance video from Valentine's apartment complex captures her last steps in public. Take a look. Valentine walking to her apartment, then a man seen running after her. Police identify the man as 44-year-old Reginald McDowell, the father of one of Valentine's children. Court records indicate McDowell was convicted of kidnapping Valentine. Valentine in 1999. This time she got away. McDowell was sentenced to 15 years in prison and released in 2011. I think we all know and feel that there may be some connection to that, but that previous conviction uh, can't be used in a case against him now. E even though the surveillance video, why not, why not an arrest with the surveillance video? Uh, again, we're working that investigation. After Valentine's disappearance, McDowell left the area. He's had no communication with several family members in Fayetteville, not even the son he and Valentine share. Before leaving, McDowell denied having anything to do with the case. He came to me like, no, I didn't do this, or I don't want you to think it's like that. He has left the area, but we know where he is. And uh, believe me, we, uh, we um, check on him frequently to make sure that we know where he is. Meantime, family members rely on their faith. No fears whatsoever. I just feel that She's somewhere that she can't communicate with anybody. And, uh, and that's what it is. I don't have the fear. Now, McDowell remains a person of interest in this case. Most importantly, police and family members both saying the same. Someone knows something about this incident, and they're asking the public to come forward with that information. Chief Metlock saying there's no need to fear bringing that information forth. If you don't want to talk to police, you can definitely contact Crime Stoppers, where your identity will remain anonymous. In Fayetteville, Nate Rogers, WNCN News. All right, Nate, thank you.